Hello guys and welcome back to Gamer Walker 2.0 and what is this that I got here on the side? You see the shadow like right here? Oh, 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 yeah, have you seen that? Did you see it? Yeah, it's some Nintendo games. So today we are going to go through our Nintendo collection and show you what we all have. Well, first off we got 720 degrees. It's a skateboarding game. And you gotta go through different levels and sections of the game. And try not to get killed by a skull that comes after you out of nowhere after you take too much time. I don't know why, but he does. Next is mine and Loner's Turtle's favorite NES game. Bubble Bobble. If you can see it. Now, Bubble Bobble is a game about these two. Basically this one, if you're playing single player. And what you do, if you see on the case, you blow bubbles... But what you do, you pop their bubbles and it somehow kills them or gets rid of them. But I spent too much time on that game. Next, we have a game that probably most of you know. We got Contra, but we have two copies of Contra. Which, for the ones of you that don't know about Contra, Contra is an alien shooting game. Basically a um, side-scroller shooter game and everything else. And you got it through there and shoot aliens and don't die which is a hard game and then we have um, defenders of the castle which is like an old um, knights game it looks like for the computer from the 80s in a way what you do you go around um, through castles and defeat your enemies basically and we have a game that everybody probably knows that has a, an NES Donkey Kong classic well, this one you play as Mario, climbing up the um, ladders and everything else. Or you could play as Donkey Kong Jr. And try to save Donkey Kong. Which, I've completed both level, well, both sides of the game. And it wasn't actually that hard after I got into it. Then we have Double Dragons for the NES. Which, you remember the old TV show, if anybody's watched it. But this one involves a girl getting kidnapped, and you gotta go save her. Then you gotta beat, like, the world's hardest enemies to get through it, and everything else like that. Here's a game that a lot of you know, and it's probably hard for everybody to get through it. But we got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And now, I've got past, I've got, like, so far in the game. But it's so hard. But me and my brother makes fun of the company. We call it Band-Aid, which it's called Band-Died. But we call it like that. Then, like, the hardest game probably on the NES, Friday the 13th, which if you watched any of my um, older channels, I did a gameplay on this, and you all know how hard this game is if you played it. But I like to play the newer one. But it looks fun. Then we have Golf. For the NES, which everybody knows what golf is, you know, hit the ball and see if you can make it in the hole with the least amount of strokes. And then we have um, Hogan's Alley, which is just um, basically you shoot cardboard figures and see if you can get through it without killing too many innocent people. And that's just our first stack of NES games. And then next up we have Indiana Jones... And the Temple of Doom, which is nothing like the movie. But you go through like mine shafts, conveyor belts, and everything else, killing enemies. And I never got too far in that game. Kung Fu, which is what it sounds like it says. Basically, you fight your enemies, kick them, and everything else, punch, and try to get through the levels. Which, that's fun, the game actually to play. Mickey Mouse, Mouse uh, Mickey Mouse escaped. I don't know if I said that right or not. It's a decent game, but it's also made by Capcom, like it says up here. But you just go through here with Mickey and Minnie and trying to get to the very end, basically like any other game. Pro Wrestling, which it's a wrestling game for the Nintendo. That's all I have to say. Rad Racer Two. Um, involves you just racing down the road in fast cars and everything else like that and try to make it to the end first 
RC Pro AM 32 tracks of racing thrills. That's a tongue twister there, and it's hard to say it. But it involves you racing different little RC cars, like the ones that it shows here. The kind of more of the off-roading ones and everything else. But I like using cheat codes on it and everything else. And it's fun when they spin out of control. Russian Attack is a game about really... Probably something that shouldn't have been made. But it was made anyways. This one ended up in our collection. Because I don't know how and why. But it's Sesame Street 1, 2, 3. And it's about like what it says there. You got to match numbers for Oscar. Grover. Yeah, Grover. Oscar Grover, whatever. And Ernie. You got to match shapes for him and make shapes. That's all that it is. Side Pocket. It's a pool game. And my dad likes playing this because this is the only game that he can really play. I don't know why, but he likes playing that game. And for the last pile, the last two, we have Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt together. But we have two copies of those. But what's better than having two copies of the game is having all three copies of the game. Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. Which I never have like completed the game before and that's our that's all for the second pile now down to the last pile we have um, wood and water rage which it's a surfing skateboarding game basically on the docks and everything else but you can play as these three characters but I've um, the hardest thing to do is the skateboarding. Well, basically the whole game is hard to do. But I have done the, don the, the monkey one. And it's the surfboarding one. And that's hard to do. Uh, sorry, I shook the camera there a little. Then a game that's probably on every system and everything else. Tetris. Which everybody knows Tetris is just match the... Um, fill in the holes, really. That's what you should say about it. We got... Um, the Simpsons, Bart vs. the World, which you play as Bart, and you try to get through these different sections like it shows here on the case. You go to China, Egypt, Hollywood, North Pole, like it says, and try to defeat Mr. Burns' cousins, like it says up there. But it's a hard game to do. I've got to like the second like section. And then we have Top Gun which is probably the worst one made for the NES, but we have two copies of that. And for you that don't know Top Gun, Top Gun is a game where you fly through the air, basically shoot enemy airplanes and ships. Then we have Top Gun, the second mission, which is basically the same exact thing as Top Gun, shoot enemies, ships, and airplanes out of the sky. Then we have Track Enfield 2, which it does, you do the things like it shows on the front, you know. Which we only can do certain ones of them because we never found out how to throw the ball in the chain or whatever this one is. But it's somewhat decent at least. And the last game, have you ever played Dark Souls? Me! Yeah, if you played Dark Souls, this is a game for people that should play. Well, um, that play on the NES. You need to play Willow. Willow is the hardest game. Which I don't know much about the storyboard ex story, except if that you're a short guy in this, like this town, and you're just trying to get to one place to the other. That's you're all. Basically, I need. a hobbit. Yeah. And the greatest thing about having a Nintendo collection, that you have, this, a game genie. But you can't have a game genie. Without the Game Genie booklet with the codes inside of it, which is uh, fun. Which this was for Punch Out, which I don't know where that game went. I think I might have it still in the NES. I gotta look for it. There it is. I found Punch Out. That was the um, game that I was missing. I didn't know I was missing any games, but Punch Out for the 
NES is a hard fighting game that a lot of people probably know about because they made a reboot of it on the Wii. And that's all now for like what we have for the NES. And we'll make the next video will be the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 games that we have. And I hope you guys like this video. It's something I'm going to try for just a while. And if you like it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And um, if you see any of these games that you would like us to play, put in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye.